this is one thing that you should like try never to forget and that's uh, what a geometric series is and so that's a series of the form a plus a times r plus a times r squared then an infinite sum right and so if we were to write that down it would be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of a times r to the n and then the thing to remember is that this always adds up to a over 1 minus r. So this is the geometric series summation formula. So we're going to get a lot of stuff out of this, like if you take 1 plus x plus x squared plus x cubed plus x to the fourth dot dot dot, that's going to sum to 1 over 1 minus x. And this is like not for all values of x. This is when x is less than one, there's this thing called the radius of convergence. So I would say like, if you're gonna remember a couple of things about power series, the geometric series and how to like nimbly work with geometric series is super important. Like all be built off of this formula right here. So another thing would be like one plus x over three plus x squared over nine plus x cubed over 27 plus dot dot dot. So in general, that would be the sum as n goes from 0 to infinity of x to the n over 3 to the n. That would be an example of that, right? So notice that that is this right here, but the common ratio is x over 3, right? Notice to get from one term to the next term, you always multiply by x over 3. So that means that this sums up to 1 over 1 minus x over 3, which, you know, can obviously be kind of simplified to three over three minus x. Okay, so geometric series, that's one thing. And then I would say two others to like keep in mind and never forget, maybe three others. One super important one and two that are really tied together and would be good to keep in mind. So one of them would be the power series for e to the x, which is the sum as n goes from zero to infinity of x to the n over n factorial. That's also really important. And so that would be like, 1 plus x plus x squared over 2 factorial plus x cubed over 3 factorial plus x to the fourth over 4 factorial, so on and so forth. So that's another one that's super important. The sine and cosine ones are also important. So cos x, but maybe not as important just to like keep in mind at all moments. But the cosine one looks like this. Cosine and sine ones are the ones to like keep in mind but maybe you don't super have to have them memorized, just like kind of look up as needed. But the cosine and sine ones are like this. 